Hey guys, this is Trevor with Market Delta. I just want to give a quick update on Market Delta Cloud. We are rolling out new charts uh, into the platform. They're going to be replacing the old charts that were in there. And uh, you'll see that deployed over the weekend. Um, so all the old charts will be gone. The new ones will be in there. I want to give you a quick walkthrough of those, but also just to let you know between now and the end of the year, um, over the next three, four months, you're going to see significant chart improvements uh, as we roll out. So this is just the first phase. There's going to be a lot of new things coming in the platform that we're uh, pretty sure you'll really like. So stay tuned for all that. But let me just give you a quick walkthrough. Um, your old charts, you'll still see their names um, in the platform and the widget structure, everything operates the same uh, with respect to that. However, any saved settings that you had in the charts, trend lines, um, indicators, things like that, those will be gone. However, the new ones are very easy to work with and I just want to show you how that works. So clicking the title bar or the little ellipsis on the right will open this up and you can click study and it'll open up a familiar screen um, with the available studies. Now this is just an initial list. Um, there's more to come and if you have some you want to suggest just click the let us know button and it'll create an email you can just send uh, what uh, you're looking for if, if a very important one is missing for you otherwise we'll be certainly working in more as time goes on but the way it's way it's structured is it shows any current studies you have applied to the chart you can remove them and um, you could see it took off the Bollinger Band if I click study though again, you can see it shows RSI and MACD. Those are the two I have under. If I add the Bollinger Band back in, notice there's a scroll. You can set how you want it to be. I'm going to hit add. Um, we, we have them classified as upper, meaning on the upper pane, and then lower or under. Uh, so if I click under, it'll show me the ones that are in the lower panes. Click upper, it'll be the ones in the upper pane. Uh, if you want to size these panes to be smaller or larger, just hit smaller or larger, and that'll um, scale them all accordingly together. So it's real easy to work with um, that way. If you want to edit one of them, I can come in here and click the pencil, change it maybe from a 14-day or 14 period to a 9, just hit apply, it'll automatically update. Um, and let's go to a full screen chart. But the charts work the same, so I can click reset and then set up. And you would just go through, select a chart, you could do a new chart or select one from the list, and then just close it and it'll bring up uh, this was a saved one that I had in the system so that's how um, that's how that works the one thing that is gone uh, in the new charts is the chart trading uh, very few people were using that um, and with the dome um, you have the dome and you have the trade button we're um, really opting for for that uh, for now we may add the chart trading back in uh, at some point in the future but for now we're really focused on getting back to the core charting features and making those much richer uh, with a lot more functionality so hopefully you really like this update uh, if you have questions don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at marketdelta.com again this is the first set of uh, new features and things that we're rolling out between now and the end of the year um, so Give us your thoughts. Um, one last thing, you can zoom in, zoom out using these buttons um, or scroll back in time, either slowly or you know jump real quick. Clicking this button will take you to the current and get you back to where the market's at at the moment. All right, that's all I got for now. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon.